Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Retro and the Retro Gamer Show. And today's show comes from here at the first ever Bristol Gaming Market. Coming up on today's show, we've got another Games Chart flashback for you. Stay tuned to find out which year. I take a look at a fantastic retro gaming book. I look out for people from the retro gaming community and try to find out what they've been picking up. And if you fancy going to a retro gaming event, then we've got a roundup view of this month's events. But before all of that, let's take a look around the market.
Jim's just gone off to go look for some bargains around the market. I'm going to go join him in a minute, but before we go and do that, why don't you check out the Games Chart flashback? In this month's Games Chart flashback, France beat Brazil 3 0 in the World Cup final. If you went to the cinema, you might have watched There's Something About Mary, or Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan. And this was number one in the UK music chart. This time it's July 1998 and we've got the Sega Saturn Top 5. So first up at number 5, back when Marvel was popular, it's the excellent fighting game Marvel Super Heroes by Capcom. At number 4 it's none other than Resident Evil, back in the mansion where it all started. That type right there brings back some memories, when I first played this game I actually missed that for a while. And this game was the first game to make me jump with this bit where the dogs come flying through the window. Things just didn't happen in video games like that in those days. At number 3 it's the amazing tongue twisting title of Sega's Steep Slope Sliders. You're right James, it's a title that's not easy to say. I've never played this but some people call it the Sega version of Cool Borders. And riding high at number 2 in the charts is a game with a title that I'm not finding it easy to say so here goes, it's Panzer Dragoon Saga. And uh, this isn't the sort of game that I usually enjoy playing so I must admit I've never played it. However I have heard that it is a good game so maybe I'm missing out on something here. Excuse me, I shouldn't really do that uh, with my voice. Yes, it's House of the Dead, based on the excellent arcade game. It's an amazing on the rail shooter. If you haven't ever played this, where have you been? This game is brilliant. So a trip back to 1998 there in this Sega Saturn, but around that time my favourite console was the PlayStation and talking of the PlayStation, take a look at this. So of course being a big fan of the original PlayStation, when I seen this book, the PlayStation Anthology, I was eager to check it out. The book's 365 high gloss pages delve deep into the history of Sony itself and of course the PlayStation console. The book goes into incredible detail with fascinating insights and various facts of how Sony's console came to be, from its backstory and development to its worldwide launch. The book also contains a total of 26 interviews with the men and women who were an integral part of the PlayStation legacy and served as important people during its time. Shown here is just a few of them. Towards the back of the book there is a hardware section that covers such things as the console itself, the accessories, system models, packaging and various bundles. But as a collector for the system, my favourite part of the book has to be the collectibles and special editions section. I must admit that I never knew there were so many highly sought after items and exclusive releases available for the system. And yes, since buying the book I have started to pick some of them up. Although this is a great book that has come a long way since it started its life as a Kickstarter campaign, it does have a couple of very minor niggles. 
The book has been translated from French and occasionally this leads to the odd spelling or grammar mistake and also a few of the pictures seem to be slightly pixelated. But like I say they are just a very few minor niggles of a book that on the whole is well presented and that should be in any PlayStation fans library. If you would like to order yourself a copy of the book you can do so from the publisher's website or from Amazon for around £35. Links will be in the video description. So we're still here in the Bristol Gaming Market and James is out there somewhere chatting to some people and meeting people and seeing what they picked up. Whereabouts are you James? Hey so I'm here with Steve, he's got a big Instagram channel. Steve show us what you picked up, don't forget to mention your channel. Cheers, thank you. So my channel is uh, retro underscore Zach Vortex. I got a few bits and bobs, a few cheaper ones, a few more expensive. I went for Super Smash TV on the Mega Drive. Haven't played it, but uh, it's got a good name to it. Okay, classic. Okay, that's meant. Uh, Strider, again on the Mega Drive. Everyone has to have this one in their collection, right? So I've got to pick this one up. You wouldn't see a pattern with a Mega Drive. <laughs> that's funny. Um, a bit of a game I've never been that keen on, but I thought I'd pick it up because it's missing from my collection. It's got to be better than the film. Yeah, anything can be better than the film. <laughs> hey, that's great. And then, last but not least, oh, a, bit, a bit of tat, but I used to love it as a kid, so yeah, me too. I thought I'd got to get it. So again, I didn't have it in my collection. So that's it, really. That's hey, that's some good up. quality pickups. So yeah, go to retro underscore Zach Vortex on Instagram, see my pictures. I'll put some pictures of these up too. Yeah. And I'm here with Gashead Steve. He's just got here, but he's going to tell us a bit about what he's picked up so far. Like you said, I've only just got here. Literally been here for about 20 minutes or so. Um, haven't really picked up a lot. Uh, went to see Rich King Retro Store over the other side there, and uh, I'll show you what I've got. Fantastic piece on 4K. So now we've been joined by Stairs Tastic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the YouTubes, and yeah. what have you picked up? Uh, not a lot, keep it simple. So I've just uh, gone for the basics, so I've gone for a bit of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, I know it's only a loose cart, but fibre bonus. Um, then I've treated myself, and I thought sod it, go and top PlayStation. So always going to have one of those handy. So yeah, uh, good event though. So at the Bristol Gaming Market, I've bumped into Mike from Without Further Ado Retro, and Mike is going to show us what he's picked up today. Okay, right, uh, so far we have managed to pick up. We've got Sega Arcade Gallery, which is seen four before. Sega classics. Outrun, Afterburner, Space Harrier. Hey, that's nice. Oh, super, hang on. Minty boxed. 20 pound that was. Wow, cool. Quite I've good ne price. never seen it ever. Yeah, I've been after that for a while. It's, that's a good price as well, take it. And it's in nice condition. Yeah. Yeah, box yeah, I will do. I will do. Ooh. I've got, I've got one waiting at home for it already. I'll pop it here, but I won't okay. stand on it. No problem. <laughs> you, no you do, you bought it, you paid yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right, next one. Hey. It's Earthworm Jim. I bundled these, these four as a, as a bundle. Yeah. So Earthworm cool. Jim two. Remember the seller? Um, Retro worry. Hunter. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. He's here. Which he, uh, he done me a deal. Hey, good. So that's uh, Earthworm Jim too. Hey, that's nice. They're all box complete as well. Box protector. And they're all yeah, they're all in protectors, and they're all. I'll change of my bad ones when I get home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That's but uh, cool. yeah, they're all in sort of okay condition. What but ones the prices, do you use then? Do you use like the thicker ones? I use the five mil. Um, oh yeah, the ones. Uh, is it the ones you peel off the? the retro? Uh, no, Gaming Vault. Oh, okay. uh, Gaming Vault. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 He's, 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 he's he's the sort of top guy at the moment for the for the protectors. There's a guy selling these here. Um, they're, they're a tenner for, for ten. Yeah, he, they'll be the three mils, yeah, they won't be the five. He was just saying, oh, they're not a, they're not a credit. Uh, yeah, you want the five, yeah. you want the five mil yeah. on a tight fit if you can. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, I mean, like initially when I started protecting my collection, I got like a hundred, say three mils, yeah. everything went in them. Yeah. And then as you go through, then you pay, you try and buy the bundles, the, 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 the five mil, and put them in the piece of protection then, like, you know. Yeah. Cool, right, anyway, so that's, that's that box protector. Oh, he's made <laughs> sidetracking here. <laughs> right, Ooh. next one. A little bit sun-faded, that, but... Uh, Tiny Toons World and Wacky Sports. Which is uh, quite oh a God. rare one. How many stairs have you got now? I'm over 100. I think I'm probably about 110, maybe 120. Boxed. It's boxed, so... 
did you have them back in the day and then trade them in or something? Uh, I, I always used to get the system, uh, trade it in, get the latest system, yeah, and then, yeah, unfortunately. Hey, that's lovely. So, he did, you have to tell us, if you don't mind, what you did the bundle deal at? Uh, yeah, no problem, I'll tell you that in a moment. Uh, we'll do the bundle and then I'll tell you what yeah. I got for. So. Yeah. Obviously, there's a bit of negotiation. Now, this one is um, it's a PAL, yeah, but it's, it's a, US artwork. It's it's not US artwork. It's, oh, okay. it's a German PAL. Oh, okay. So it's um, gotcha in German, oh, yeah. but the game plays in English and it has an English manual. Now, if this was fully English, you pay 120 plus for that. Wow. It's not supposed to be the best game, but it's the only Street Fighter yeah, that I don't have in PAL. So for me. I mean, that was marked up at 75. I've got less than, less than that because it's a bundle. Um, so now I have all the Street Fighters oh, wow. on PAL. So it's, it's not supposed to be that good, have though. Have you got the tinned turbo fighting? I have the tin yeah. and the I have the... Yet? No, oh, it's pretty cool, good condition. Cool, yeah. But uh, I think I picked it up for about 60 quid a tin. Okay. But in, in the sort of condition I've got it for, people tried like 160, yeah, 300. It's, it's ridiculous. So, And the last one, wow. it's a bit of an odd one, which is Gold Patrol. Gold Patrol. And, and if you know your it? games, do you know what that is? The no, sequel no. to? That is the sequel to Zombies. Oh, okay. So, uh, all Zombies Ain't My Neighbours, yeah. which is the official name of it, but uh, Ain't My Neighbours is a bit too uh, strong for us uh, yeah, that's in, in, I in Europe. Yeah, asking on a video, oh, I've got Zombies, I don't know if now it's this, the same as this would generally cost you, sort of, in the region on eBay, about £80 pounds plus. Wow. So, uh, you know, this game and that last game would be about £200 pounds for... So, but I got the whole bundle for... He, he wanted, um, I think it was 190 um, I, he said he would do 170. I asked if he would do 160, and we met in the middle of 165. So I'm more than happy with that. Good stuff. So. Wow, you've got plenty to play. Cool. Well, we're on emergency funds now. We're down to the last one, so we've got a bit more frugal now. <laughs> wow, that's the weirdest artwork ever. There's a gun, there's sunglasses, there's a skateboard, and a guitar. <laughs> what more do you need? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wow, there's some quality pickups. I bet you can't wait to go give them a blast. Yeah, well, I'm going to go back in there in a moment, but I'm, waiting, I'm trying to wait for it to die down, but yeah. it's got, there's no showing of dying down. It's really, really busy here. Yeah. Um, apparently, the traders have said they've had a fantastic one. They're good. doing loads and loads of uh, good sales. So Hopefully, there'll be another one then soon. Hopefully, they might even have to expand it. Yeah, good so. stuff. Right, <laughs> thanks very much, Mike. No problem, Appreciate it. it. Sound. I've had a blast catching up with some fellow retro friends here at the Bristol Gaming Market and if you're interested in checking out a retro event that might be near you, check out our What's On section coming up now. And first up, this July, we've got the Northeast Retro Gaming Show being held at the Gateshead International Stadium on the 14th and 15th of July. Check out their website at northeastretrogaming.com and on Twitter and Facebook. Next up, it's an event that we've attended a couple of times. It's the London Gaming Market. This is on, on the 15th of July and it's held as usual in the Royal National Hotel in Russell Square in London. Early entry is from 11am and costs £5. Tickets after 12pm cost £2. For more information on this, go to londongamingmarket.com. Now from the big smoke, heading up north to Newcastle, it's TechFest on the 22nd of July at Kingston Park Stadium. They've got all sorts going on, some gaming, computing technology stuff, some workshops, some speakers and loads of free parking. To find out more, visit techfest.co.uk. And now for something completely different, if you fancy a bit of a retro gaming disco, then on July the 28th at the Chelsea Harbour Hotel in London, you can go to the Silent Disco X Retro Gaming event by Restron. Dance, sing and play retro games in front of a stunning panoramic view of the city skyline. For more information, visit restron.co.uk. You can also find links to all these events in the video description. So we just got back from the Bristol Gaming Market and we had a great day, didn't we, James? Oh, it was loads of fun. 
and uh, lots of people there that we met so uh, thanks to all you that come up and said hello but that's it for this month's retro gamer show we hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back next month with another show so until then james what they gotta do keep it retro everyone see you soon